Why are some companies more successful than others in taking technology to the market? I think a huge part of that comes from um, whether or not a company has in place uh, existing uh, some channels or some processes that help um, direct those technologies into the marketplace. Because what can often happen is a company can have a great home run, but it's actually luck. Um, just a set of circumstances happened, something came in and it worked, which is great. And, and the company's happy and normally its customers are happy. But the hardest part is when people come back and say, okay, give me something else. And when a company doesn't have some way of structuring and processing new ideas and possible new uh, innovations into the marketplace, it can become very difficult and basically just if luck strikes twice, strikes twice which is a pretty difficult way to run a business. So it's, I think, uh, in a company's best interest to try to formalize or in some way systematize how to bring technologies out into the marketplace. Companies with enough workers, uh, employees, thinking or dedicated or, or active in innovation. I think really what has to happen is that innovation is not someone's particular job, but that actually the way of thinking in terms of uh, what else can we do and not just repeating the way business has always been done, that should actually permeate throughout the entire organization and not be limited to, say, the C-suite or just the R&D group or just the marketing team or whomever. I think what really needs to happen for innovation to be able to, to have as much impact as possible for any organization, be it a, a for-profit company or a uh, not-for-profit organization or foundation, I think is really when the entire company feel the need to, to be self-critical and think about how much more or what else can we do beyond what is actually being done today. Really critical, um, especially when you think about it from the, the, the technology-only point of view. Uh, I think people who think that you can get it done just with great technology and forget about the business model are making, or at least putting at risk, uh, a huge part of what they, what they anticipate as their success. Um, because a great technology without an accompanying business model probably will fall flat. And if it doesn't, it's probably luck. Um, so I think spending time on the business model, on those aspects of the organization which you mentioned, uh, the pricing, the modeling, the distributors, my partners, uh, the channel, you, know, you have to really take into account all of that within all the different aspects of your business model to really make sure what you think is going to be innovation from, from all the different points of view is going to actually have the success and the impact that you're counting on. So really working the business model and being critical with the business model and really trying to think about it from the different perspectives I think is absolutely fundamental. I think the, the MBI from Deusto is a really interesting idea um, and fits uh, an important niche inside the marketplace because it's not a standard MBA, for example, with a pretty much a set uh, structure of criteria or curriculum. I think the MBI has, has an ability to be more flexible and uh, by taking into different geographical settings and really specific content that makes sense with those geographical settings, I think it's a really great way to to capture what we're trying to say here about taking into account different facets of where, where new ideas and where innovation comes from and not looking at it as strictly a linear approach, which I think innovation is anything except linear. So the MBI from Deusto, I think, is really trying to come up with a much more dynamic way of structuring and having people think about and work towards innovation so that they can then take those skills back into their own respective workplaces.